locks was seven years old. Now she had lovely golden curls and because of that everyone called her Goldie, Goldilocks. Now she was the kind of girl who liked to build things and for her birthday she had gotten her own toolbox with a saw, a hammer, duct tape, all the things you needed to do all kinds of construction work. And so one day as Elizabeth watched the neighbors across the street move in and saw them unload a great big cardboard box, she got a building idea. She walked herself across, introduced herself to the new neighbors, and asked if she could please take the old refrigerator box over to her house. Well, the neighbors said, of course. So Elizabeth pulled that box over to the backyard, and then she got busy. She got her tools out. She cut a door in the box. She cut a round circular hole in the box. She was going to make a spaceship, for it was her dream to be a rocket scientist when she grew up. Well, as she opened up that cardboard door and she looked inside her spaceship, it wasn't quite complete. She needed a few more things. So she ran into the kitchen and she asked her mom if she could please use the plastic cake cover that had come from her birthday cake. She duct taped that into that circular space. She found a shoe box that was going to be a box for her provisions. You always need provisions to go to outer space. And then she got a piece of cardboard and out of her mom's button box, glued some buttons, drew some switches. It was her instrument panel. She was ready. Her rocket ship looked perfect once she added that duct tape stripe all the way around. But to go into outer space, you have to be prepared as an astronaut. So she ran back into the house, went up to her bedroom, and got on her swim goggles, intergalactic eye protectors. Every astronaut needs a helmet. She went to the garage and got her bicycle helmet and strapped it on. She walked into the house. She looked at her mother and said, Mom, I'm going to outer space. Her mother surprised her and handed her three juice boxes and three crunchy granola bars. Goldie took those out, put them in her special box for her provisions. She walked into the spaceship, closed the cardboard door, and then she started the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, and she pushed the start button and her spaceship started to shake and it started to rumble, it started to vibrate, it started to jerk and burk and bop about. And when she looked out of that plastic window, her backyard was getting smaller and smaller and smaller. She was headed into outer space while she watched the clouds go by. She saw the moon go by. The stars were going by faster and faster until all of a sudden, after three juice boxes and three crunchy granola bars were gone, her spaceship started to sputter. She looked at her control panel. The fuel gauge was empty. Luckily, as she looked out of the window, there was a strange planet with green and purple and orange swirls. She carefully did a landing on that distant planet. And when she looked out of that window one last time, she saw them. Three space aliens. One was very, very large. One was very, very small. And one was middle-sized. And this is where, as she opens the door, you need to finish the story and figure out what happens to Goldilocks and the three space aliens and how she gets back home for dinner.